everyone, I'm Vaishali Patel. When we remodeled our home, we invested in a steam oven. And I've never had a steam oven before this. And this steam oven is by Thermador. And I'm gonna review this for you guys. And you get to make common, which is a spongy yellow Indian cake with me. And I'll tell you all about this oven. So the first thing, it's really user friendly in my opinion, because all you have to do is press the on button. And you don't have to press it really tight and then you'll see there is an option for steam you'll see it right up here so you could scroll down there's steam there's steam conduction too when you are using this to steam stuff for example for Indian treats that we normally make you want to be on steam before you hit start if you even if you hit start it's going to tell you fill water tank so we're going to open this the water tank is super easy to take out. It's gonna make some noise because you're taking out the water tank. You hear that noise? We're gonna fill it up and you don't wanna go more than the max level. Let me tell you the things that I don't like about this oven. Cleaning up afterwards, it's not a big hassle. However, you do have to take the tank out and the water gathers on the bottom of the oven. It comes with a little sponge, so it tells you just put the sponge in there and it soaks up the water and then you have to empty the water tank out and use the dryer function. So it all depends on how much effort you want to put in because for some of you it may just be easy to wash your big pot. For me, I love the convenience of this. And um, it does fog up like this, so sometimes it's kind of hard to see what's happening even with the light on, but you can see it. Another thing I don't like about this oven is the noise that it makes after a while. In the beginning, it didn't make this much noise. After a while, it starts making this noise when it's sucking up the water and it's making it steam. Um, when you are using the oven functions, in the beginning, I made a mistake of not using steam and I put something on convection steam and the top layer gets crispy although the, the inside part got nice and spongy, but I, I wanted all of it to be spongy. So be careful when you're using it. Make sure, do you need steam or convection? So the Thermador unit that I have is a dual oven. So I have two ovens. The top one is a steamer, the bottom one is not. The bottom one is much bigger, and we have a large Indian family. We host a lot of people. We're making homemade pizzas all the time, so I need two ovens. So this is a steam oven, but it also works as a regular oven. So if you don't want to use it as a steamer, you're warming up lots of pizza or making lots of pizza, pizza so you could do that easily. Key thing for Indian home or any other immigrant home, don't use this as storage unit. Don't shove your pots and pans in here. Let Take care of it. The more you take care of it, the longer it's gonna last you. Thermador oven, the wall unit that I have, it is an investment, but if you are a family that cooks a lot, who enjoy having you know nicer variety of uh, kitchen utensils or kitchen appliances, then this particular wall unit, I'll give you a price point. The whole, the top and the bottom, if you get both the ovens, it was around $7,000. But you don't have to spend that much money. You could just get the steam oven itself and that's around $3,000. Now, is it worth it? In my opinion, if you're remodeling a house and if you're installing a new unit, most definitely it's worth it. Is it worth it to replace it? For sure. If you're cooking a lot, a lot of Indian dishes like kamar and dokra, reheating your food without using the microwave, you know, so this is definitely worth it for someone who values kitchen appliances good quality high-end kitchen appliances that will last you a long time and that you make use of it often so the steam oven works for my family is because in our family we don't use the microwave for many reasons as you know the radiation and other things that go in there and we use um, the steam oven to reheat food now, the reheating part does take about 10 to 12 minutes, but when the food comes out of here, it tastes fresh like it was made when we got it or when we made it. And so for me, that's worth it. One of the other things that I noticed, like when we have, you know, paneer tikka masala or something that's there, this makes your jeera rice really fast. You can make any of your rice dishes in here. If you've got younger kids, you can make, you know, steamed vegetables really fast in here. You could do, um, Kids love, you know, the reheating, like if you're getting french fries, you could reheat them in here too. You don't have to use the steam part, you could use the convection steam part. It works really good, they'll keep them nice and crunchy. 
But I've noticed my sister-in-law who has a toddler uses her steam oven quite often to make my niece's food, you know, either to just reheat it or make it fresh. So noodles, rice, anything you name it. This stuff, for me, it's thumbs up. one of the best recipes for cumin. It's all it is is um, chickpea, split chickpea soaked for a couple of hours. You add some yogurt, um, green chilies, ginger, and salt, and that's pretty much it. And now this is going to go in our lovely Thermador steam oven for 30 minutes, and we'll get to see the magic when it comes out. So here it is. I'm going to stick it in here. And as you can see, you can't put things on top and bottom because the water will have condensation on the bottom. So one tray at a time is what you'll have to do. Okay? Let's see. So now it's time to take our coming out. It's almost done. This is what I'm talking about. Look at the condensation. It builds up. So you've got to be okay with that. But look at this. Once I dice it up and dress it with the roasted um, mustard seed and some cilantro, you're gonna love it. Okay, so this is the final product. This is Kummern, which is the yellow spongy cakes made out of chickpea, split chickpeas. And you have it with beautiful jalapeno, spicy, spicy. I tempered some mustard seed with avocado oil and chopped some cilantro and garnished on top. So here you go.